On the remote islands of Indonesia, a giant predator still rules, the Komodo dragon. Many people visit to see these amazing creatures, but few know how dangerous they really are. These lizards aren't just big, they are powerful hunters. They can run faster than humans, take down large animals like water buffalo, and their bite is deadly. Their sharp teeth and venom make them one of the most dangerous predators in the world. What makes them such great hunters? And how do they survive? On Indonesia's Komodo Island, 2,000 residents share their land with the world's most fearsome lizards. As human encounters with Komodo dragons increase, so do terrifying attacks. In early 2024 alone, nearly 700 incidents were reported, raising serious safety concerns. One chilling case happened in 2009 when a fruit picker, Mohamed Anwar, was trapped in a tree for hours as two hungry dragons circled below. Exhausted, he eventually fell right into their deadly jaws. In some villages, Komodo dragons even raid cemeteries, forcing locals to relocate graves. The Komodo dragon isn't just big, it's a living tank. Weighing around 75 kilograms on average, some giants have been recorded at a staggering 356 pounds. Stretching up to 3 meters long, they are the undisputed largest lizards on Earth. Their thick, rough skin, covered in dark brown-gray scales, acts like natural armor, helping them blend into their surroundings while protecting them from injury. But it's their weapons that make them truly terrifying. Their muscular tails swings like a whip, strong enough to knock down prey. Their short but powerful legs, armed with razor-sharp claws, allow them to grip, slash, and even climb when needed. What makes them even deadlier? Their bite. But we'll get to that soon. Young Komodo dragons climb trees to escape predators, using sharp claws and strong limbs. As they grow heavier, they lose this ability. While adults stay on the ground, juveniles hunt birds, eggs, and lizards in the treetops. A Komodo dragon strike is swift and powerful. Komodo's venom is a deadly cocktail, containing anticoagulant enzymes that prevent blood from clotting, causing rapid blood loss, paralysis, and eventual shock in the prey. Komodo dragons are expert hunters, and their favorite prey? Deer and goats. These animals are just the right size, big enough to be a filling meal, but not too large to overpower. Komodo dragons don't chase their prey like other predators. Instead, they rely on patience and stealth, sneaking up before launching a deadly ambush. Deer and goats often wander into open areas, making them easy to spot. During the dry season, they gather near water sources, giving Komodo dragons the perfect chance to strike. If a deer or goat is weak or injured, it's an even easier target. With their powerful bite and venomous saliva, Komodo dragons only need one good attack to bring down their prey. Once bitten, escape is nearly impossible. With their powerful jaws and flexible throat, they can swallow smaller prey whole. For larger animals, they tear off massive chunks of flesh, devouring nearly every part – bones, skin, and even hooves. Their stomachs can expand dramatically, 
allowing them to gorge on meals up to 80% of their body weight in a single sitting. After such a feast, a Komodo dragon can go days or even weeks without eating again. A single large meal, like a deer, can keep them full for about a month. Their slow metabolism allows them to survive long periods without food, making them incredibly efficient predators. Komodo dragons may be land-based hunters, but their hunger knows no boundaries. Even the water isn't always a safe escape. These massive lizards are strong swimmers, capable of crossing between islands in search of food. Though they prefer hunting on land, they won't hesitate to snatch prey from shallow waters. If a struggling deer or wild boar wades too deep, a Komodo dragon might charge in, clamping its powerful jaws around the victim and dragging it back to shore. Even fish, sea turtles, or carrion washed up by the tide can become an easy meal. Their keen sense of smell allows them to detect food from miles away even if it's hidden beneath the waves. So, how is this fearsome predator born? The Komodo dragon's mating season happens from May to August. During this time, males fight each other to win a mate. After that, the female lays 15 to 30 eggs and hides them in a nest. The eggs take seven to eight months to hatch. Newborn Komodo dragons face danger immediately, even from their own kind. They climb trees to survive and descend only when strong enough to hunt. Komodo dragons pose a threat to humans and livestock, leading to controlled hunting. Hunters use rifles like the .375 RG Magnum, aiming for vital areas to ensure a quick, humane kill. Hunters aim for vital areas such as the heart or lungs, ensuring a quick and painless death. After capture, dragons are examined and tagged for conservation, helping scientists track their health and population. Though the dragons are protected, their numbers remain fragile. Conservationists continue to study their behavior and genetics, searching for ways to secure their future. What do you think about this fearsome predator? Share your thoughts in the comments.